In this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to use the Flutter package Flutter Markdown. This is the simple app we're going to build today, where we have our basic app, and in this app, we have our markdown text. So for example, we have a heading here, then a separator line, then another heading, then we have some bold text, then we have a text with a line through it. We also have a link here, also an image from an asset. And if we further scroll down, we also have an indented block here. We have another image from the network this time, and then a list with sub points. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use the Flutter package Flutter Markdown. Just press on here to copy it to your clipboard, then in your pubspec.yaml file. Underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here. Now, if you want to display images from your assets, then first you have to create a folder within your root project called assets. And within this assets folder, you can put in your images. And then in your pubspec.yaml file, you further scroll down to Flutter here. And then you see the assets. This is usually commented if you haven't used the assets before. And then just write assets forward slash, and then you can run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Now, one thing to mention is that there are different ways to write markdown. If you want to know how to use the markdown text, it's explained that you can have three different ways to use this with this package. So I use this GitHub flavored markdown specification since this is the default. Just press on here to go to the website. And in here it's explained how to use it more in detail. So for example, if you want to have a separator line, you could either use three stars, three dashes or three underscores. It's the same thing, but it explains that you shouldn't use, for example, three pluses or three equal signs. So everything is explained in here. So for layout, I simply build a very simple Flutter app with a scaffold. The scaffold has an app bar and then the body. And within the body, we can directly use our widget called Markdown. For this, don't forget to import the Flutter Markdown package. And then the data here is the text you want to use for Markdown. And I defined it here as a global variable called markdown data. And let's have a quick look at how this markdown works. So for example, this here is a heading. If you've already used markdown before, you know a heading starts with a hashtag or multiple hashtags. In this case, it's only one hashtag, so it's the biggest heading. Then if you have a smaller heading, for example, then you use two hashtags. As you can see here, this heading is bigger than this one here. Then we can have a separator line, as you can see here. Then let's have a look at how we can do the bold text here. That's simply done by wrapping the text here with two stars on each side, as you can see here. If you want text that has a line through it, then you use two tilde signs on the left and two tilde signs on the right. If you want to have a link, then you write this in squared brackets, whatever should be displayed to the user. And then within parentheses, the link itself. Then for using an image, this is directly loaded from the resources, from our assets. In this case, make sure to write this exclamation point and then we can write it very similarly to how we use a URL. So in this case, you can leave this empty and then make sure to use resource colon in case you use the assets and then you have to define the assets path to your image file. So in this case, it's under assets and then flutter logo.png. Then as you can see here, this text is in italic. For this, you simply wrap it with one star on each side then here we can see an indented text. For this, you use the bigger than sign. And for each line you want still to be indented, make sure to also write this. And once you're done with your indented text, make sure to leave a blank line here. Then for loading an image from the network, here in this case, you can simply define the website. Again, use the exclamation point here, then the squared brackets. And then within these parentheses, here you can use the direct link to the image so it should be either a PNG or a JPEG. It shouldn't be an SVG since this will give you an error. And then lastly, for our list here, here you can simply say one dot and whatever you want it to be. And then here, make sure that you have three spaces. So one, two, three, or you could also write it with numbers here again, instead of the dashes. So if you reload this, you can see here, it's an indented list within the list. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments and thank you for watching.